I really like the tires on my car. Low profile, wide, grip the road really well. I guess you'd say it's a pretty good performance tire. Except earlier this week, I got a flat tire and was late for an appointment and late for work. So I guess me talking so well about these tires, flattery gets you nowhere. Well, life happens, and it happened to me earlier this week on my way to work in the dark in the morning. Flat tire on the side of the road. Just what everybody wants to do first thing in the morning. Well, my Camaro needs a new set of tires. The, these, these tires here are getting kind of bald. But I currently don't have enough money to buy a new set of tires. So, I'm going to do my best to repair this one. The first thing I'm doing is putting air in the tire so that I can determine where the leak is coming from. All right, we got the air in it. Now you can really see just how bald these tires are. And I've got these little, like little bumps in the tread, and that's where some of my road noise is. So I hear like a wah 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 noise around 40 miles an hour. So yeah, there's no no doubt these tires need replaced. But uh, let's figure out where this leak is. We're gonna want to put some tight water on the tire now and and use the. Uh, water to help us find the leak. Wherever we see bubbles, there's our leak. Just a little tip, if you want to locate the leak, use some soapy water. That way the bubbles will be a little more pronounced. You would just want to put water down the treads as you're rolling it, some soapy water, and uh, you'd see pretty quickly where the, the leak right, was. So I've sprayed water on the tire, and uh, there's no need for me to look for bubbles because I can hear the, the air coming out. We've got ourselves a pretty decent puncture right here. It looks like the tires just failed and it's cracked, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to patch this or not. But I will give it a try. Alright, so this is what I got to you to plug the tire. I've got these tire plugs I got from Walmart, probably six to eight bucks. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I bought a tire plug kit a while back. Again, I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it gives you two different types of tools you'll need. And then you'll need some sort of uh, cement. Uh, you can buy the tire plug cement. I don't have any, but I do have rubber cement. Should do okay. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take this rasping tool and I'm going to go down inside this crack or this puncture here and rasp that out nice and clean and smooth. Be prepared for a lot of air to come out. All right, looking at the hole, there's a pretty good crack right here. So I don't know how clean this is going to be to be able to plug. If this was a screw or a nail or something, you just get a pair of pliers and you'd pull it out, put this rasping tool in there, and that would be a good clean plug. But with it being cra uh, cracked like this, you know, I may have to take this to a tire shop. They'd have to break the wheel off the off the rim and patch it from the inside possibly with a flat patch. But we're going to give this a try and see if it'll work. And now we need to get a plug out of here. You can see these are nice and goopy. I'm going to take my needle here. I'm going to use a screwdriver to kind of open up the end so we can get this plug in there. Alright, this is where the rubber cement comes in. cement will cause it to, to seal really nice. Okay, get ready for a burst of air. Don't go and I push this plug all the way down in there. <laughs> oh shoot. Fail. Don't push the plug all the way down in there like that like I just did. Can't believe I did that. Now that I've shoved it all the way down in there, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll push it all the way down in and start over. Okay, just take your needle. Push it down in the hole firmly. Okay, I'll let that set up for a little bit, and then I'll take some clippers and we'll clip off the excess. And I'm just going to clip off just a little bit of this end here. Now 
And that should do it. Hopefully this thing will hold air. All right, well, I just put some air in it, pumped it up to the proper PSI. And... It's not holding. So I guess I'm going to have to take this into a proper tire shop and have them plug it from the inside. Because it is... The crack in the tire was worse than I thought. So a simple plug's not going to do the trick. But if you had a, a simple, you know, a screw or, or a nail or something in it, uh, this would do the trick. I've done this a hundred times on my tires over the years. Anyway, that's how you attempt to plug a punctured tire. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. It wasn't necessarily helpful for me, but uh, thanks for watching and God bless. I guess I'm stuck with this toy tire for a little bit longer.